show the whole world what we're all about. Be the girls with a passion for fashion. Ooh, we're rats. They'll always be there for each other. Ooh, we're rats. Yeah. Styling how we feel. Ooh, talking about our best friends. Yeah. Together we can do anything. We all got a plan, a dream. Take a chance and believe. Make it real. Oh my gosh! My life is so over! Angel, what's wrong? Just listen to my horoscope. Someone close to you has a deep, dark secret. <gasps> Uh-oh. You think they found out that I listened to country music? This person will stop at nothing to bring you down. Forget about impending doom with a cucumber and mayonnaise body wrap. Why? Why me? Cut down in my teens before I've even had a chance to go through my rebel stage. Hey, spooky scouts don't worry me. Playing truth or dare with the tweebles again? Now that's scary. Totally. Guys, what's the matter, cool cat? Remember that student intern from Your Thing magazine who disappeared a few years ago? Yeah, I think she graduated from Styles High. What was her name? Heather Stone. According to her most recent employer, Miss Burdine Maxwell. That ungrateful intern disappeared without a trace. Now quit wasting my time and go find her. The article says that Heather left no clues behind. She took all her personal items from the office with her. So? I was in the basement looking for some files and found this box. I think the things in it belong to Heather. A little stuffed kitty, a marionette, Heather's office name plaque, a new wallet. Who would leave without their wallet? And why would Burdeen lie and say Heather took everything with her? Look, someone drew pink horns on this picture of Heather. Burdeen must have really had it out for her. <gasps> 911 emergency! My horoscope, it's coming true, don't you see? It said someone close to me wants to bring me down. And hello, Burdine's just down the hall. She's gonna do to me what she did to poor Heather. I'm going down. Those rotten little brats. How come they always beat us to the scoop? <laughs> Your earlobes are getting longer. No, yours are. Yours! Shut up, you incompetence. Oh, I go to all that trouble of sending you to the brat slumber party to spy, and you don't even bother to find anything out! But we did! We, like, found out Yasmin likes vegetarian face masks with <gasps> anchovies. Ew! And Chloe likes Cameron! <laughs> yeah! Enough! As punishment for once again failing miserably, you two are going to clean this office from top to bottom. And if you miss so much as a square inch, so help me, I'll get rid of you. Now go find him off before I mop the floor with your faces. <laughs> now chop chop. Get rid of us? Bird Breath didn't say that. She said get rid of you. As in, like, you. You! 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 you, you. you. Mother of Pink! Ah. I can't wait! <laughs> At last! Thank you for ordering from Voodoo Dolls R Us. To instill pain in your victims, just follow these simple directions. No trace of Heather anywhere. She disappeared from the phone books, never renewed her driver's license, and from what I can tell, left no forwarding address. It's time for Royale and me to go shoe shopping. Now get to work. Chop, chop. Come to Mama, my precious wishes. You wash the windows, I'll like supervise. But you always get to supervise. Oh, well. Yeah. Now get to work. She said she would do to us. <laughs> 
Let's not jump to any conclusions here. I mean, we don't even know for sure if all that stuff belonged to Heather. Did you hear something? Like what, cool cat? Oh, help, help! We're like history! Not yet, bozo! I mean, we're gonna be like history! What are you babbling about? Bird lips! She said she was gonna get rid of us, and then we found skeleton bones, like, in her closet. A skeleton? Bourdine's warped. But that still doesn't mean she'd knock someone off. Then explain the bones. Um, she won them in a bingo game at the witch's coven. Oh, I knew there had to be a logical explanation. <laughs> Wait, what's a coven? It's a club for people who ride broomsticks. Now run along back to your playground. Okay, but if Bertine, like, knocks us off, we're gonna be, like, really mad at you. Bunny Boo, the Tweevils are right. <gasps> I so did not hear that. Oh, please. How much more hardcore evidence do we need? The bones, the cute little wind-up kitty, my horoscope! It is weird that Heather just disappeared. Maybe she decided to cut out and see a movie. For the rest of her life? No, don't you see? Something happened to her. I am getting to the bottom of this right now. Why didn't you tell me I had an ugly whisker protruding from my face? you something. The secret to my youthful look? 28 glasses of water a day and a good plastic surgeon. Actually, we want to ask you about Heather Stone. <laughs> that low life? I got rid of her. Uh, got rid of her? Precisely. I terminated her, liquidated her, finished her butt good. Oh, you should have heard her begging for mercy. And I'd do it again. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I am so thinking what you're thinking. You're right, Cool Cat. Maybe I am stressing over nothing. Come on, we've got to warn the Tweevils. They're in terrible danger. <gasps> I must destroy the brats. I must destroy the brats. No more brats. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Gosh, <laughs> it's not the Tweevils Perdine's after. It's us. <laughs> Thanks for doing another sleepover with me, guys. I just know Berdine is out there waiting for the right moment to strike. I bet that's why she crashed our slumber party. She wanted to get us then. What do you wear to your own doomsday party anyway? People, even if she ran through that door right now with a samurai sword, <laughs> she couldn't possibly get all four of us before one of us got her. We're cool as long as we're together, so let's all chill and catch some Z's. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, what if, instead of a sword, it was a baseball bat? A bicycle chain? What if, bicycle chain? instead of a sword, what if, baseball, baseball we operated? People, give it a rest. We'll deal with it in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. What do you want? To apologize for being so mean all the time. I I just do it because... Because I'm afraid if people knew the real me, then, then they'd really hate me. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Oh, I knew you'd understand. That's why I brought you this special peace offering. It's a new spray-on conditioner imported all the way from the Himalayas. Here, try it. How do you like it? I don't know. It, it feels kind of weird. <laughs> you have to admit it's fast acting. <laughs> Hello? Yasmin, it's the Emergency Pet Rescue Network. There's a cat trapped in a tree two blocks from you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> How do you like my mechanical kitty? Never have to change a litter box again. <laughs> mechanical? <laughs> Brats don't always land on their feet. <laughs> Can I stop now? No, please! I want to stop now! No, you'll never stop. Do you hear me? Never. I'll keep you dancing forever. You'll even be dancing on your grave! <laughs> help! Help! It hurts! Hippity hop for you! <laughs> when you finish that proofreading, you can take out the trash, change the light bulbs, refinish the floors. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. Take this box down to the basement and move it. Yes, Miss Maxwell. It's not too heavy, is it? No, ma'am! Good. Then take these, too. Uh, 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 heavy! Really heavy! What? Oh, my gosh! It's Casey and Kirsty. You're next! Yeah, Bertine's like going to slowly torture you until you're history. Yeah? Hi, I'm Heather Stone. No! You don't have to fall apart over it. Aw, oh, Heather went all to pieces. <laughs> I'm scared. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what. We're gonna stop getting spooked and get some facts instead. What do you mean, Bunny Boo? We gotta check out these bones for ourselves. Okay, I'm like, Verdeen, I'm sneaking up behind you with a big coat hanger. What do you do? Ah! What are you doing here? We're all in danger. All of us? You fashion freaks too? Yes, but we've got to see those bones to make sure. Okay, but like, hurry up. If Verdeen sees you here, she'll go code pink. Ta-da! The bones! Uh, hello? Where are the bones? What happened to them? <gasps> they were like right here. Oh my gosh, Birdface is back. Let's get out of here. You can't, she'll see you. You've got to hide. The closet. You two. Well, you should have thought of that before you disobeyed my orders. Now, you're both on borrowed time. <laughs> <laughs> borrowed time? Does that mean what I think it means? But we didn't, like, mean to disobey your orders. Yeah! What orders? To vacuum out my car when you were done cleaning the office. You were driving around in your car. But I'm not now, am I? <sighs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but there's nothing like a really good axe. Oh my gosh, look what she's doing. The bones, the bones, they must belong to Heather. Oh, and I had such high hopes that things would work out. Oh, well. Oh, I just wish these were brats' bones. <gasps> but the brats will get there soon enough. Then why are you pulling the pins out? <gasps>
just in case. What do we do now? Follow her. We've got to get Heather's skeleton for evidence. Come on, people. and they'd find us. <gasps> Look, Verdine's car! This place is so creeping me out. your chance. I can't keep these in my office any longer. I can take care of it and grind them into bone meal. Well, you'd better. This is only the beginning. Only next time, the bones better be destroyed beyond recognition. Now! <laughs> Mother of pink! You! You! Hey! What are you doing standing up? You brat should be writhing in pain, unable to walk or crawl. I, oh, I paid good money for those voodoo dolls. What's going on here? Come one step closer and you'll find out the hard way. Yeah. Wait, Chloe, heavy. Roburns are so unattractive. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Mother of pink. <laughs> All right, freeze. Oh, freeze yourself. Do you know who I am? I am Berdeen Maxwell, the founder, creator, and editor-in-chief of Your Thing magazine and the reigning queen of fashion. Whatever. I'm taking you in for questioning. For what? For the heinous crime against Heather Stone. Oh, crime? I should have knocked off that little troublemaker. So you did end her life, and those bones will prove it. I want to see those bones. Now. Oh, I can help you with that, officer. In fact, I can help you with a breathtaking variety of gourmet treats for your feathered, finned, or furry friends. Huh? Here at Gourmet Pet Treats International, our motto is, we'll break our back so little precious can snack. Wait, wait, those bones she was smashing? Those are dog treats? Yes, and I specifically ordered them ground up, not whole. Oh, as I said, Ms. Maxwell, I, I promise that next time... Oh, shut up. Uh, officer, I guess this is my fault. When we saw the bones, I got a little carried away. No, you didn't, Angel. We all did what we thought was right. Even if it turned out wrong. Wait, not so fast. You still haven't explained what happened to Heather Stone. Oh, her? You can find her deep underground. <gasps> How could you? Easy, little ingrate. She had the audacity to just walk out of the office after I criticized the sloppy way she waxed my car. Didn't even bother to tell me she quit, so I reported her missing for nothing. Ah, but I got even. I told everyone in the magazine world that I fired her for wearing polyester drawstring pants to work with a matching moo, -moo and she never worked in fashion again. <laughs> now she's a subway conductor. Toot toot! Just try to apply eyeliner at 30 miles an hour, missy. What a scary week. First, that scary slumber party with the Tweevils. And that scary game of truth or dare. Hey, guys, my order arrived. What order? Just some stuff I bought for fun. 
Slamming. Scorching. Give me a pen. Off the hook. These are great for stress. Too bad they don't really work, huh? Maybe the mystery that wasn't was a little embarrassing. But our Bratz Magazine cover story, Clear Out the Fashion Skeleton in Your Closet, was a big hit. Everybody now.